Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel Tail e-commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about products filtered by price. So let's see how can we filter the product according to the price. So for that, I'll go to the SOP controller and uh, here inside this index method, uh, let's create another variable. So after this, just write here, uh, let's say variable name is P range, price range okay and uh, get the value from the query, st query string so right here dollar request f arrow query and pass here the key p range all right and now check here the value if not dollar p range if p range has no value then set here the default value dollar p range is equal to inside the double quote just pass here the minimum value 0 and maximum value which separated with comma just add here the value let's say maximum value is 500 okay and now uh, from this string p range string uh, let's extract the uh, from and to value so create two variable here from is equal to and here the explode method explode and pass here the separator which is comma and then this one dollar p range okay and then get the first index value zero index value okay so right here zero and now let's copy this and paste here change the variable name to and index value 1 okay and now after this where let's add here the arrow sign and where between and inside this just pass in the column name regular uh, regular price regular underscore price and then array and inside this array just pass here from or to so write your dollar from comma dollar to okay and now let's return this from and to value to the view so inside this array just write here comma single quote from arrow dollar from and to arrow dollar to this one and now save this file and go to the swap.play.php file and inside this view file uh, just go to the this filter form and uh, here inside this form let's add here the hidden field input type is equal to hidden and name is equal to p range and id is equal to p range and value is equal to blank okay and here the spelling mistake frm filter just put here the i and remove from here filter okay now let's copy and paste here change everywhere okay and now let's cut this to you uh, event and uh, first of all add here dollar function and inside this just paste here okay now here uh, let's create a variable where the p range
where range is equal to dollar and let's copy the class name of the range slider so here is the of the range slider so just copy this class name and uh, inside this just put here the dot sign and paste here the class name okay now create the instance so right here instance is equal to dollar range dot data and inside the big bracket oh, sorry parenthesis just pass here ion 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 range slider okay and now update so write your instance dot update and inside this update method just pass here object from colon dollar, uh, curly bracket dollar from and two colon double curly bracket dollar two and after this let's copy this id p range and here just handle the change event so right here assign this id p range on change event if value is change then add the caller function and inside this callback function uh, let's add here the set timeout timeout okay and set here the delay time one second so right here thousand and inside this curly bracket let's copy this and paste here okay now save this file now it's done so let's check this go to the soft page and just refresh the page all right now let's change this price range slider okay it's not working so inspect element all right here is the some error range is not defined okay go to the soft.php file and inside this here uh, in, the, in inside this script just put here the dollar sign okay now save this file now let's check again so switch to the browser and just close this and refresh the page okay now change the slider price uh, slider so just change and set here the dollar 10 okay 15 and you can see here all product between this price range 15 and 500 you can see here okay if i change the range and uh, you can see here there is 20 product inside this range if i change the minimum value and you can see here the products according to this price range okay so in this way you can filter the products by price so that's all about products filter by price don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching